Hi YouTube, this is Angela Perez and today I'm just bringing you an unboxing video of a speed light flash unit. This is a third party speed light um, made by Young Euro Digital. Basically, it probably comes from China. And um, it's a good alternative if you want to start um, being a strobist and you can't afford the Canon or Nikon um, equivalents of these. I already own um, three of these and I use them for off camera uh, flash um, so that when I'm on the go it's more portable than carrying around your studio lights and I have used both Nikon and Canon speed lights in the past and I never use used it I never used to use it with the TTLs um, system anyways because I always use them in manual so I figured why am I gonna spend the extra money um, for a unit that I'm not using its features when this guy right here the white N 462 it's an old manual um, speed light it works on top of your camera and it works off camera as well so let's get to it I'm gonna open it up first thing that you get is little advertisement of them advertising their new YN 568EX um, that unit is very comparable to the Canon and the Nikon. It does have a new TTL flash with large guide number, supports auto and manual zooming, supercharged speed, multiple trigger mode, and compressive support, steel functions. So if you want a flash that does TTL and that is comparable to the Canon in Nikon, then I suggest checking out the Young Yu 568EX. That right there. But yeah, that's not this is not about that flash. It is about the YN462. So after that, you get the flash in bubble wrap. It's really nicely wrapped. And then you get a stand for your flash. And you get your manual on how to use it. It's both in Chinese and English. It's the manual right there. Move the box. Um, thing I noticed is the box reminds me of Nikon product boxes with the gold and the black. So it's very similar to the Nikon packaging. So get it out. It comes in this felt. Comes in this felt um, material, felt velvety material, and then it has a little tag that says digital. And inside the box, um, the bag, uh, the flash again is wrapped up really nice. Yep, and this is the flash unit. Um, if you've used, if you're used to Canon speed lights, you will know that for Canon speed lights, you have to press a button right here to make it go down. With this unit, you um you don't you just move it up and down. Um, it does swivel about. Oops, sorry, my little child in the background. It does swivel. It doesn't swivel 360 degrees, but it swivels to one side completely. To the other side, up. So just enough, really. Um, it has a little film cover on the front. It does have a film cover on the back. You remove that. And that's it. And then we open it up. The battery compartment, the only thing I'm going to say, the battery compartment feels really cheap. Feels really cheap. Um, it comes with a little warning tag in there. This is like really fragile, so I suggest you be careful with that part. It takes four AA batteries. And I don't have, I have my rechargeable, they're dead, they're charging. But I'm going to tell you how this works. You put on the batteries and then to turn it on, you hit the on and off the on and off button. You have to hold it for two seconds, and you're gonna see the lights. They're gonna light up. So you hold it until it goes all the way to the end, and it's all light up. And then you let go. 
This is the pilot. Basically, this is your test flash button. And then you flash it. You test it with that. And then um, this one right here is to lower your power settings or um, increase your power settings back there. And then you'll see the it'll light up and it'll show you if you have to go up or down. It also has a slave mode. Um, basically, you just hit mode and it has slave one and slave two. Um, I typically just keep it on slave one. And then you can fire any flash in the room and it'll set this off. It also has a um, a PC sync port um, right there. So you can add triggers. If you don't have any triggers that actually go on the hot shoe, then you can use a trigger through this port right here. And that's pretty much about this guy and what he looks like. It's only... $49.99. I even seen some sellers sell it for $45 on Amazon. So it's a great buy because you can buy three or four of these for the... Actually, you could buy like six of these or probably more for the price of a Canon or Nikon Speedlight. And um, they're, to me, the power, the, they have enough power for me to use indoors at studio, for me to flat, bounce flash um, if I'm indoors at an event. Um, it even has enough light for fill light outside. Um, I tried it and I got um, an F. I tried it on a sunny day and I got up to F22 and I was able to fill my subject nicely. So, yeah, so it means it, have, it has enough kick. So, I hope you guys enjoy the, um, this little review on an unboxing video and just come back for another video. Bye.